Welcome back, everyone. Warmer temps headed our way. Another gorgeous day. It's true. The next 24 hours, we're good. It's tomorrow. That's going to be storm, a little rough. I can't believe yeah. we're in January and we're having temps in the 50s. We topped out at 58 degrees yesterday. Wow, we even beautiful. had 70s, yeah, across the eastern plains. The bummer part is they're not going to last very long. Really, by tomorrow, we're back down to those average temperatures and then it really starts to plummet heading into uh, Thursday. So here's what we're walking out the door to this morning. 42 degrees here in the metro area, 20s and 30s to the north and the 30s and low 40s out across the southern portions of the state. Hobbs coming in at about 45. Albuquerque 42. Not too bad to start our Tuesday. The day planner looks a lot like yesterday with those mid 50s kicking back in this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine. The winds will only be about light to moderate 5 to 15, so not too bad. But the eastern plains are looking at another breezy to windy day. That cold front will continue to make its way in out across the northeastern plains and then barrel its way through across the state with another one right behind it for tomorrow. So really today do not have a lot to talk about. Tomorrow, though, that's when we're looking at some changes. We already have the winter storm watches posted for the eastern plains as well as out across the west central portions of the state and down for the southwest mountains. This will really start to pick up tomorrow and not let us let go really until Thursday afternoon. So the next 48 hours, hold on tight because it's going to get rocky. We're watching our next storm system making its way in from the Pacific, so moving in from the west, it's going to give us some lift. I'm really not thinking Northwest Plateau is going to see a big snow out of this. Maybe a few pop up showers and that's about it. Eastern Plains is a whole different story. We have the cold front, the second one moving in tomorrow, giving us a cold air with this lift. Eastern slopes of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, Sandia and Manzana Mountains prepare for some good snow headed your way. Metro area, it's a question mark. If we see snow, it's because the winds will be light. This is what we have to watch. If those easterly winds get up to about 20, 25 miles per hour, we're not going to see anything but a few flakes. So we have to make sure those winds stay decently light to get anything here in the metro area. So the storm track, if I go ahead and run you through this, notice by the time we hit tomorrow morning, we're already starting to see a few of the showers pop up out across the northern mountains and northeastern plains. Check a look, take a look at how much really the model is blowing this up. This is definitely possible. The only thing I'm not necessarily agreeing with is the timing. I think this will be a little bit later on in the day, but again, we're watching this as we go and this will slowly start to make its way down across the rest of the southern portions of the state. Now, by the time we hit tomorrow morning, it will start to clear from north to south. But Eastern Plains, you're going to feel the brunt of this snow, so get ready. It will be messy traveling out across the eastern plains for the next 48 hours. Today we got nothing to worry about in southern Colorado. Again, temperatures in the 40s this afternoon. We'll watch for spotty snow showers tomorrow. Northwest Plateau, same thing. Temperatures nice and mild in the 40s and low 50s today, but snow showers possible come tomorrow. We dry out for the rest of the week. Southwest, plenty of sunshine, warm afternoon. We'll watch for some rain Wednesday, Thursday. Really, those temperatures a little too warm to get out some good snow. Higher elevations and exception. We'll watch for some of the Sacramento Mountains to pick up some good snow, especially the eastern slopes, like I mentioned. But temperatures from the 50s and 60s today, we're down to the 40s tomorrow, 30s by Thursday. Northeastern Plains, get ready because you're going to get the most snow of anyone over the next 48 hours. Wednesday and Thursday, on and off snow showers, temperatures 50s and 40s today. We get down to the 20s by Thursday afternoon. Northern Mountains, this looks like a pretty good storm for you guys, especially up in those uh, higher elevation ski resorts. I'm thinking significant accumulation possible. And then East Mountains, breezy today, and we're also going to keep to the winds tomorrow. Snow showers likely to start late in the afternoon tomorrow, continue through those overnight hours into Thursday. Temperatures will also take a huge hit going into Thursday. Metro area, we're nice and comfy today, nothing to talk about, and then the storm gets closer to us. We are looking at those chance, uh, the spotty showers starting to come in tomorrow afternoon mainly, continuing overnight into Thursday. Thursday morning likely to be a messy commute if and only if those easterly winds don't get crazy. So really that's all dependent as far as accumulations go. We got to make sure those winds don't get up to those uh, 20, 25 mile per hour speeds. But man, Eastern Plains, it looks like a good one. Let's oh. we'll have to wait and see. See how it all turns out here. Yeah, it's here. We'll be tracking it all day. We'll be here. Good. We'll look forward to it. Yeah. All right, let's turn to the morning.